Here he is, the one and only from the band Orgy, Mr. Jay Gordon. How you doing tonight, Jay? How's it going, guys? Good, man. So, uh, earlier in the show, I, when I was uh, going through the lineup of tonight's show, when I came up right. to you, I said, I-, I can't wait to talk to-, to Jay because you're a guy who I think is a very ballsy person in the music business. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, why, why is that? Just because <laughs> because <laughs> when you guys originally hit in like the late 90s, you right. guys were, I, I mean, first off, the look, the whole glam look was so frowned upon, I'll say, or like not accepted at that time. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, and you sure. guys, yeah, and it was just, I was like, I remember when you came out, because I always loved that glam look from, you know, going back to the New York Dolls to the to the 80s, and when you guys came out, I was like, oh, frig, yeah. And I was, <laughs> in the back of my head, though, I'm saying to myself, wow, this could be career suicide in the same breath. <laughs> For sure. It, it, it was a little of both, you know. I mean, but you just, you just got to do, you got to do what you want to do, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't be, you know, I couldn't be contained with what everybody else wanted me to do, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I just kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to, you know, just jump off that way, and that's kind of what I did, you know, but... Yeah, you know, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, like a, like a, you know, I, I, it's something I really didn't think about too much, you know. I mean, I, I, you know, you would catch the obvious, like, like, what are these guys all about? You know what I mean? But like, you know, it, it's like most people just kind of just were like, all right, well, cool, you know, like, you know, they kind of accepted it and just, you know, it worked out. <laughs> you know, and, 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 it, it took a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but but then in the, in the same thing too, like you even took it a step further because with the band name Orgy, I was like, you know, how is the the public going to accept that band name? Yeah, that 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 one's still tough. It's still tough to live that one down sometimes. You know, it's like I knew that you know I wasn't really necessarily out to get like commercial sponsorships or endorsements or whatever back then. So I you know. I, that was another thing. I was just like, you know, screw it. Let's just do this. You know what I mean? So, kind of just happened. <laughs> now, did did like the record label or anybody try to talk you out of either of those things? I mean, people definitely had conversations with me, uh, you know, regarding like a, you know, me reconsidering, you know, the name or whatever. And I was like, no, nah, you know, I, this is kind of what I want to what I want to do and. You know, Corn was behind it and stuff, so that really helped, uh, you know, push it over the top. I mean, they were really responsible for a lot of, you know, um, you know, our, our success because, you know, obviously they were huge at the time, and and you know, and and the involvement, you know, <laughs> they're getting involved with the band really, uh, you know, just just them accepting us like kind of made it okay for their fans to accept us as well, and and, and right. you know, we were able to move forward. Now, also um, too, like. The music, something with all your music. Whenever I hear you guys, I oh, I mean, it's just like a futuristic sound. It's like okay. so ahead of its time, and I always, it, it's weird. Like I always picture you guys like in a movie. Like I could picture you guys <laughs> in the background of a movie, like in some, like a uh, what was that Sylvester Stallone movie where he was the cop in the future, or you know stuff like that. Uh, I could just yeah, picture like Dread or something like that. Yeah, I could just picture like Orgy's music being in the background of these movies, or you guys performing in the background of these movies. We've actually, you know, had a lot of songs in, in movies. You know, um, it's it's crazy that you say that, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's never it's never like the movies you would think they would be in, you know. Like it's always like some other kind of movie, like Green Three or I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, something like that, you know. Even Zoolander, you know, <laughs> which is the last place you'd expect. It never ever happens quite the way you, you anticipated to, or or the way you think it should go down. You know, it always happens in a in a different kind of way. Right, right. Wow. So, all right, so you had the, the, the original lineup was together up through 2005, and then you guys went on hiatus for like seven years. Yeah. So in that time, what was Jay Gordon doing? Well, I mean, you know, besides partying a lot, uh, I was, uh, <laughs> you know, I was, uh, I don't know, having kids, uh, you know, just uh, 
trying to learn new things, you know, at the same time, you know, like, uh, uh, I learned a couple of different, uh, you know, like, you know, music software programs, uh, you know, just to help me further, you know, my, my endeavors or whatever. And, uh, you know, learned the whole DJ thing, started making a bunch of EDM beats, did a lot of that kind of stuff just to kind of, you know, familiarize myself and keep up with, you know, how things were going just because I wasn't in the, in the limelight, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, I kind of kept, I kind of kept that going and, uh, you know, just, you know, and then the, you know, then the original lineup, you know, just, we kind of, you know, everybody kind of was doing their own thing, you know, which is kind of, you know, a largely, uh, responsible for the reason why we, we kind of disbanded for a minute there. And, uh, you know, and then it just seemed like it was going to take forever to get things back together. So I just went and, uh, since I owned the name or whatever, I licensed it to the band originally. I just was able to, uh, keep moving forward with Orgy, uh, you know, on a new level and just got new bandmates, you know? Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, like, that, see, that's the thing with the whole music business today. Like, everybody's doing so many different projects. It's hard to get everybody together now at the same time. And yeah, then exactly. for guys, yeah, and then guys like you that, like, want to move forward with it, like, it's kind of not fair. Like, you shouldn't have to, like, sit and wait. Well, yeah, that's kind of what was what was happening, you know, and, and and maybe the other guys don't see it that way, but I mean that's exactly the way it was, you know. It was just like, you know, I, I had been talking to them, you know, keeping things cool, you know, I thought everything was good, and you know, let's 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 try to do some shows soon or whatever, and it just was taking too long, so I was just like, f it, I just moved on, you know, and then right. you know, I got a whole bunch of backlash for that, and I'm just like, dude, <laughs> you know, what did you expect, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't so, yeah. sit and wait forever. Yeah, totally. Nah. So, all right. So, you, you you put this new lineup together back in 2011, 2012. Yeah, something like that. And yeah, 2011, I started by like, talking to people about doing it. You know. So uh, now, in those seven years, you were away from the music business, per se. A lot changed. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so you uh, again, where you're a ballsy person, was it kind of scary to jump back into this and try to do this again? No, I mean, you know, um, you know, a lot changed, but like I said, I was trying to keep up with what was going on. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't know exactly how or why or what was going to happen when once we started playing again. Um, you know, I knew some people were going to be, you know, balked at the fact that, you know that there was new band guys, you know, but, um, right. So I caught some backlash for that as well. And then, uh, I just said, screw it. Let's just try this. And, uh, it's working out. So cool. No complaints. The new stuff sounds awesome. Oh, thank you. And it's very, again, you, you got that real futuristic sound. And like you said, it's more like the EDM style as well. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of always was, if you, if you think about it, you know, it's just maybe more now shifted towards uh, a little more of that, a little maybe less of the rock stuff, but it's still totally aggressive, you know what I mean? Like, right. It's, it's definitely aggressive, and the new stuff's even crazier. So we have, uh, you know, this EP that just came out, Toxic, and then now we have this new uh, one that's going to be out in, like, maybe a few months from now, and it's uh, another five songs. Um, that, that one's going to be called Entropy. So and that stuff's even heavier. So, so, and that's where we're gonna we're gonna put out this Skrillex track that we did with him and, and things like that. So oh, it's cool! Gonna, it, it's really aggressive. It's cool. I think people are gonna really like it. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah like uh, you're wasting no time. Like <laughs> you just put an EP out a few months ago, and then you get ready to put another one out later on this year. Yeah, actually, officially, it just came out. Um, I think like two weeks ago, and then oh, okay, and then now, yeah. And then, um, yeah, we, we didn't want to waste any time since, you know, so much time had passed. We wanted to, uh, you know, put out some records, put out some music. So, cool. here we go. <laughs> and, and also, too, you guys are getting ready to uh, do some shows. You're playing, actually, tomorrow night at the Rock Bar in San yeah. Jose. Uh, mm -hmm. Saturday night, the Boardwalk in Orangeville, California. And then next week, you're playing at our buddy, uh, the Count's Place, Vamp, out in Vegas. Yep. And then we do, um, I think we do Oregon, Medford, Oregon, like a festival. And then um, and then I, I think we take a break, and then we come back 
December to January, we're going to do like a full blown U.S. tour at places we missed on the last one. Are you going to be hitting the East Coast? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, like so. We'll we'll have to have you uh, come down to the show. Definitely, yeah. Philly needs uh, needs orgy. Yeah, definitely. We need Philly, so it's match made in heaven. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. Cool. So, wow. All right, so you got tours planned, EP of music coming out, another EP of music coming out. You got the current one out now, Talk Sick. A lot's happening yeah. in the world of Orgy. Oh, yeah. You know, you got you you, to – once you, once you hit the ground, you got to hit the ground running. You know what I mean? So that's what we're trying to do, man. Do you, do you feel like uh, kind of like reborn again? I mean, with a new lineup and all this new music coming out, is it like, all right, I, I'm back where I belong? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, I, I would I would love it if, if more people knew what was going on. You know, and and, and uh, you know people people weren't like so apprehensive about live music again and, and stuff. But uh, but it's but it's working out. You know, like I could you know no complaints. So. You know, I just want I want the masses to catch to catch it. You know what I'm saying? Like and get, and get to see the band because uh, the energy's there, the show's there. You know, but we're we're definitely giving it up. Awesome. And actually, uh, my co-host, uh, I know he had a couple questions for you as well. He was he uh, was talking about some of the soundtracks or something that you guys were on. So Nick, take it away. <laughs> well, <laughs> What's up, Nick? We have a private chat, and I was just telling him you guys were talking a little earlier about soundtracks and shit. And I was just typing to him. I was like, I "Slept so long, I, just, I fucking love that song." Like, I'm just, I'm just talking to him on on the side, but really, like, this, honestly, the little headbanger in me, like, that was just the anthem. You know what I mean? Like, it was the most badass that it could be. Oh, right on, man. And uh, what we were talking before we had you on, and I was reading that we weren't sure if it was a rumor or or if it was just misinformation, but we're we're seeing that you did. Did you do the voice of J. Jonah Jameson for the Spider-Man video games? No, no. no, So it's a a different J. Gordon then. Yeah, that's a, for some reason that ended up on my IMDb. I have no idea why. I don't even know how to remove that or whatever. But I mean, not that I really care. But you know, it's not like I got paid a bunch of money to do that or anything. But uh, if I did, I would definitely. So I thought that would be cool, actually. But I, I have no idea who that Jay Gordon is. But you know, there's a couple I, of them that uh, I get cross reference with. There's also a doctor, like a uh, like a pediatrician that I get mixed up with all the time. It's like, dude, I'm not a doctor, so. No, it would be funny if he was a gynecologist. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) I'd be good at that. (laughs) So many people are getting into, like, voice acting and stuff like that. So we always ask if that's, you know, you or not, because uh, it seems to be a new medium that people are getting into. And we were like, you know, I've played this game, so I was like, I don't remember that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, no, and I'd be down, too. It's just like that, you know, it's not something that, uh, you know, like, 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 it's in my wheelhouse yet, but it's like I can do it, you know. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, reaching out and, and, you know, connecting with the right people. But I've always wanted to kind of do some stuff like that, you know. That'd be very cool. cool. Yeah, Yeah. that'd be super cool. Very cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, so uh, Talk Sick, where can everybody get it? Uh, You know, Amazon, iTunes, the usual usual chains, you know, like – um, you know, they can the link up to the originmusic.com webpage, and uh, you know, there's links to it there. There's there's links to it on our Facebook, Origin Music Facebook. You know, there's there's all that, and uh, yeah, man. You know, basically, wherever you can buy music, it's available. Awesome, cool. All right, I'm gonna play the song "Talk Sick" for everybody. Uh, before I let you go, though, if you if I can just get you cut an ID, this is Jay Gordon of Orgy. And you're listening to Totally Driven Radio. Hey, guys, this is Jay Gordon from Orgy, and you're listening to Totally Driven Radio. Cool. Jay, thanks so much for calling in. All right, when you guys, get to Philly, I'll let me. you know. Uh, we'll hit you up. And, yeah, good luck with everything, man. Yeah, for, for sure, man. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely link up when I get to Philly. Have a good one, guys. Cool. Thanks. thanks. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, well, there he goes, Jay Gordon of Origin. Here's the new single off the EP, Talk Sick.